What's up, challengers? Can you believe we're already in the middle of this year, 2022? I actually want to talk about middle today. That's your challenge today is I'm going to ask you to think about what are some words in your life that feel like final words sometimes, but actually are middle words. Now, here's the deal. Middle words, they can be good or they can be bad. Uh, here's the, the realization is that good middle words have the opportunity to distract us. Bad middle words have the opportunity to destroy us. And so in a couple days, I'm going to have the opportunity to preach to 20,000 teenagers in Houston. Y'all, I need some prayers. I'm be at the LCMS Youth Gathering. And, and, and uh, this, I wrote a piece. It's my attempt at spoken word called Middle Words Are Not Final Words. I'm not going to share it in full detail at the gathering, but it, it helped inspire the sermon that I'm going to preach. And so I hope you like it. A little bit vulnerable doing this today with you, but... Uh, who cares, right? I'm in the middle. And so it's called middle words are not the final words. Here we go. I'm in the middle of my 38th year of life. 38 and a half. <laughs> life expectancy for Americans, 77. So do the math. Like I very literally am in the middle as I write this, which means that young people, they don't get me. All they see is a dad bod with dad jokes. <laughs> Old people, they don't get me either. Like some of them think I'm still young, hip, and cool. Like just ask my teenage son. So as I reflect in the middle, I wonder what this next half will bring. As I'm in the middle, this is the question I ask. Will I settle for middle words? Middle words. Some middle words are good, if not very good. Jim Nance saying, the masters on CBS. LeBron yelling, Cleveland, this is for you. The burrito artist asking, white or brown rice? The realtor saying, congratulations, here's your keys. The doctor exclaiming, it's a boy. My bride vowing, I do. I, I like those middle words. I love those middle words. But as great as those middle words are in the end, they are just middle words. And I wish that all middle words were that great, but we live in a world filled with so many bad middle words. Cancer, bully, divorce, addiction, anxiety, terrorism, school shooting, racism, sin. Like these, these middle words are meant to destroy us. But what I've found is this, middle words are just that, middle Middle words are not final words, so, so don't get distracted by, by the good middle words. Even the best middle words that this world has to offer can still leave you empty. And don't get destroyed by the bad middle words. The good ones are just temporary, and oh, the bad ones are too. For, so for those stuck in the middle, Jesus knows what it's like to be in the middle. Literally, like the calendar we look at every day, it's divided by this man, Jesus, before and after. Like he is the middle word. And so remember that man in the middle. That man did die. The, the bad middle words of our lives took him out. He breathed a final breath. It was over and he was buried. But before he died, he uttered one final word to tell us die. It means it is finished. And I bet the devil laughed. He had killed Jesus. The devil threw the worst middle word at him. And yet even the worst middle word, death, in the end, it too is just a middle word. For while Jesus died on a Friday, he rose on a Sunday, telling us that middle words don't get the final word. Sin, you don't get it. Death, you can't have it. And devil, yes, you, you tried taking it, but you too are just a middle word. For Jesus is my final word. And so I guess this extremely middle-aged man is saying to both the younger and the older and the very few in the middle with him, middle words make for bad endings. Don't let middle words define your life. And so I don't know what middle words are coming for me, for you, or for anyone else. But I do know who is the final word. His name is Jesus. He is the author and he's the finisher. He is the alpha and he's the omega. In the beginning he was and in the end he will be. And he alone is worthy of all things in my middle. I hope you enjoy. Middle words are not final words. And so tell me in the comments, what are the middle words of your life that are just middle and then put a final word, something like Jesus at the end of it. God bless you.